that's official. We got chicks. As you may know, I ordered seven hens and a rooster. Um, they always send one more chick to account for any losses that might com come with handling and shipping and stuff like that. So we currently have, I, I think, eight hens and one rooster. Um, so you may be wondering what happened to the chicks that were supposed to hatch. That didn't happen. So my theory is that the actual, it wasn't the humidity at all. That was my original thing was that I, I was set on the fact that it must have been the humidity that I messed up. But I think it was actually the temperature and this might have actually been the incubator's fault because um, it can't seem to figure out what temperature is right. So um, if you can, if you saw it from the inside, you, you know, um, the, so you have the spot where the eggs are. Um, the eggs sit kind of down here, and but the the um, measurement tool is up here, so you can't actually, it doesn't know what the temperature is on the bottom. That's what I had that extra thermometer there in there for, and it was always two or three degrees lower than it should have been. So that is my ultimate theory. I opened them all up afterwards, and there was n barely any development in any of them. I can't candle for the life of me. We are going to look at some of the chicks, so I'm going to introduce you to some of them. They all have leg bands on, so you can tell the different colors. And um, my old, hopefully what I can try and do is make a sort of time-lapse video. So I'm going to take a picture of the rooster and one of the hens every day up until they start crowing or laying eggs, so that you can see the, their entire chick development until they're full-grown hen and rooster and that'll be fun so yeah up next I will show you guys um, kind of how the process went and how we kind of got the chicks um, it was a little bit of back and forth stuff going on um, but ultimately it ended up well also I have short hair now now um, how this kind of happened is we were getting ready <laughs> for everything they were supposed to be coming on Wednesday at about four um, uh, here's some short clips of just between that time when I got really bored. Um, so we were getting everything ready, filling up the food and stuff. This is a very exciting clip of me opening the food. It's very satisfying, actually. <clears throat> um, we got an email not too long after, and it said that they were going to be coming on Friday before 8 o'clock. And that was kind of annoying because it was Wednesday. I was ready for them to come, I was really excited, and they decided nice. not to come. And before um, Friday came, it was about, th it was, I think it was Thursday, and we got an email that said it was going to be coming Thursday before 4. So, um, filled everything up, and sure enough, uh, we head out at 3.45, we were on the way, picked them up, brought them home, and voila, we have some chicks. our journal um, at the top you can see these are all the colors we have black blue brown red orange white purple yellow and green um, uh, we have here they are um, I'm using the journal to log anything suspicious or interesting that I might want to look at later so far they're still pretty afraid of my hand a couple of them are pretty inquisitive though so um, I think uh, that'll just come with more handling hopefully they become a little bit nicer okay, let's go to sleep I like how this one's just kind of alone on the perch over here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. In the future, hopefully, I'll have my own intro. Um, I'm gonna make it, hopefully, write some music. Um, can't promise that it's good, but hopefully it'll come out soon. But in the meantime, um, back to the usual jazz, and see you guys later.